In this tutorial, we'll learn some more Anki basics from the Anking. Today we're going to learn the gold, silver, and bronze of card types. The closed note is the best one. The image occlusion is also extremely useful, and the basic we probably will hardly ever use, but I'll include it just so you understand. Alright, we're going to learn some different card types, and we're going to start with what we've been doing in the previous videos, we made this deck and this card, so I'm going to click on this deck and we're going to act like we're studying it. I'll teach you a cool trick here. Here comes the card. Hit the space bar to show the answer. I'm going to hit the letter E, which is going to bring up the edit screen. Now this is a close deletion card. This thing right here is the close, and as you can see in the previous screen, it has this little dot 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 here. Go back to the edit screen. Now if I want to make more edits, I can. So I'm going to do close. Deletions are the best card type. Now say we want to test ourselves on this one. We're going to highlight that and then we're going to click this button. And you can see Command Shift C is a shortcut for that. And then say we want to do this one here as well. Now normally on your screen it will pop up as C1, C2, C3. So I have an add-on that keeps them all C1. Now if we go back here, this is the only one that shows up because this is the C1 card. If we go to the browser, there we can see that there's one, two, and three. So there's three separate cards being made from this one note. We'll go back to the editor. Now here's a cool trick. If we click right here, we'll do two colons. We'll click type in name here to give ourselves a hint. Now you'll see what happens. And uh, it gives you a little hint. And this can be really useful when you're making cards. So that is the closed deletion card. It's extremely useful. Probably the best one. You should probably always be using it. Now we'll try a different one. I'm going to teach you about the image occlusion card. So if we click add. Now here's the close card we've been doing. There's also this image occlusion card, but you actually, here's the trick, you don't even have to click that. So we're just going to leave it with close correct. This little button here is for the image occlusion. Now it's important to know this is an add-on. This is something I have added to Anki, and I will do a separate video discussing all the intricacies of this, but I want to show you how it works simply. So we're going to go to the internet, anterior thigh muscles, this is super useful for anatomy and a couple other things. Let's say we're looking for the thigh muscles. Here's a great picture of what I want. I'm going to take a screenshot that copies it to the clipboard. So it didn't put it on my desktop, it copied it to the clipboard. I'll come back to Anki. I'm going to click that button and watch what happens. It's going to pull up the picture that I have. Now this is where it gets really useful. If we wanted to learn all of the things in this picture, You've got this box here, and we're just going to draw boxes over all the terms. And you can make the boxes all pretty and do whatever. And like I said in the, the tutorial on this image occlusion enhanced add-on specifically, I'll go into more detail about the cool things. But you can add different types of cards here. So we can hide all of the boxes and only reveal one of them. We can hide all and reveal all, or hide just one and then reveal all. This is probably the most useful one, the hide all reveal one. So I'm going to click that. And look, it just added five cards. So if we go into the browser, you can see the five cards that I just added right here. And I'll show you what they'll look like. We can click the preview button here. So this is what the card would pull up as. It's got this red block saying, what is this guy? And if we click over, it'll tell me what the answer is. So that is the image occlusion card. Extremely useful, a really quick way to make tons of cards all at once without using a lot of time. Now finally I wanted to talk about the basic card. This is just like any other flashcard and honestly it is not that useful and it's harder to do because the workflow is a lot slower and <clears throat> the, the way you remember is not nearly as good as the closed deletions, especially if you're a med student or a dental student and you're trying to learn over a very long period of time, but essentially you would put the front of the card and the back of the card. So we will do I am the kink, and we will add that. Now, if we go to the browser, now you can go to the deck here, but we can also go to added today just for fun. 
Now here's the card, we'll preview it. See, it says I am the, and then it pops up here at the bottom. So it can be useful, it's a little bit slower, and uh, I would prefer the close or the image occlusion any day. So those are the different main card types that you'll use as you're using Anki. Thanks for learning with the Anking. If you enjoyed this, please give us a like and subscribe to our channel. Also, please leave any and all questions and comments. Here's our email. We will try to make as many of these videos as we possibly can to help you as you study.